Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Lens of Retire video, this time featuring a deck I like to call Sacrifice to the Gods. Why is it called Sacrifice to the Gods? Well, simply because we're sacrificing all of our units to make our Nasus, our god, super ultra mega beefy. Now, how do we do that? We use the new card featured in the most recent variety patch, the Dune Swallower. Really, really great card. Uh, quite difficult to wrap your head around it and build a deck for it, but you know, I'm pretty sure someone out there is already building a way better deck than I did. Uh, you know, if you saw my variety patch review, you know that when I saw this card, I immediately said, okay, this is going straight into my Undying Control Slay deck, and I really tried to integrate this card into this specific deck. I'm pretty sure you can run it in some Silver Derv and Aggro deck, and maybe this card will be busted. Or maybe it's not. I mean, killing three units or and burning one mana is really quite, you know, qu quite a restriction. That's quite a restriction. Uh, but yeah, a pretty cool card, pretty awesome card. Wonder if someone can crack the, you know, the real potential behind it. But for me, I'm a control player. I'm not an aggressive player. So I immediately try to feature it into, you know, in this deck. So uh, what this deck is all about, let's actually get into the deck guide and show you what to do. So, as you already know, this is a control slay deck, but this is a quite different control slay deck. So it's not your usual Senna, Nasus deck you might be used to. Uh, this one features, you know, the wings and the wave. It features, obviously, the dune swallowers. It features way more fodder than, you know, you used to do, uh, you used to have. So uh, let's actually go into the basics of this deck because this deck does need, the, you know, you need some mind behind it. You, need, you do need to know how to play it. So don't expect to be an expert on the first game with this deck. It's not that simple. So in terms of card fodder, uh, fodder mean use, uh, cards you use to feed your Nasus, you know, your other cards, uh, you know, for your head spike, for your glimpse beyond, for your crumbles, uh, for your spirit leech, basically, okay, oh, and of course, you know, the Dune Swallow, right? Cards you use for sacrifice to gain benefits. So in terms of fodder, we have the Wings and the Wave, we have Ceaseless Sentry, we have obviously three copies of the Undying, uh, and that's, I think, pretty much it. In terms of fodder, that's more than enough. That's nine cards. The Undying is also reoccurring, so, you know, it's like infinite fodder. That's really, really, really great. Uh, and in terms of cards that, you know, make use of it, uh, the fodder, we have the Glimpse Beyond, the Hate Spike, the Crumble, we got the Dune Swallow, which is the bread and butter of this deck, of course. And that's pretty much it. You don't really care, of course, using our board players, right? And also, in terms of board players, we got Eradication and two copies of Ruination. Really, really good board players. Ruination still sucks, but what can you do? Maybe one day a rat will make it 8 mana like it's supposed to. Uh, but still, on 9 mana, it's still okay. So we should play it because we don't want to lose the game. So, really great card. And obviously... Uh, what else do we have in terms of removal? We got single target removal, Soul Harvest, one of the best removals in the game. Crumble, we already talked about. And three copies of Vengeance, that's more than enough most of the time. You either gonna board clear, uh, single target remo removal isn't that necessary, but of course you need it because it's phenomenal still. Uh, what do we have uh, in terms of right of negation? We have one copy of Avenging of Saya and of course right of negation. Uh, yeah, just, you know, negate enemy spells, really good. Uh, you might want to consider taking out the Avenging of Style and actually put a, you know, Rite of Negation, or actually do the other way around, where you take Rite of Negation and put one more copy of Avenging of Style. It really kind of depends on what decks you're facing. If you're facing Control, I'd say the... Uh, the Avenging Vestia is really great. If you're facing Aggro, i say the Rite of Negation is quite better. Uh, because you really do, do want that flexibility, because aggro just unfortunately Mystic Shot the Avenging Vestia, which is quite bad, but you can actually just run the Avenging Vestia, that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what do we not went through. Uh, yeah, we do have the newly buffed Spirit Leech, by the way, which, uh, it, you know, really didn't do anything significant. He got one more HP. I mean, he doesn't die to Pythos, which is an achievement, but yeah, that's really not that great. I mean, one more health for Monty 2 at 4 mana really doesn't make that much of a difference. It's still a really bad card, but 
it works in this deck. You really want to draw cards, so sure, why not? Also, should I mention, if you actually get the Dune Swallower to kill your allies three times, that's three Slay Triggers for Nasus, so really awesome synergy there. Uh, obviously, most of the time you will get to kill two units and burn one spell mana, but I think that's actually fine, that's pretty much the average scenario. Uh, getting enough fodder to play on turn 5, it's not impossible, it's not impossible, but you do need to have the wings and the wave, because the wings and the wave counts as 2, because if you remember the first time you play them, I mean on the first side you play them, uh, you, you get to summon this prey and the first wave, so basically 2 units you can sacrifice, so if you get the wings and the wave, yeah, you can pretty much, pretty easily actually get the Dune Swallower out without sacrificing any mana crystals. So if you get a Dune Swallower, you can maybe try to keep it and hard mulligan for Wings of the Wave, and the same go vice versa. If you have the Wings in the Wave, you can uh, hard mulligan for the Dune Swallower because that's a banger of a card if you can drop him on turn five. That's really, 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 really good. Uh, but with that all being said, pretty much your, uh, you know, it's your Slay Control deck. You kill your opponent's stuff, you try to get as much fodder on board. In terms of mulligan, I'd say always go for the Wings and the Wave and the Undyings. And again, if you have the Dune Swallower, uh, you can keep it if you have enough fodder in hand. But always try to get fodder and, as usual, the Soul Harvest because it's the best removal in the game. So, that's pretty much the end of the deck guide. I got some pretty spicy matches coming for you soon, guys. Uh, that being said, this deck is not tier 1. If some of you will think that, uh, that's totally not the case. Uh, Jenna and Nela haven't got nerfed in the most recent patch, unfortunately. So it's still tier 0. Um, yeah, so Aggro is running rampant right now. And this deck, you know, can have some difficulties because it takes some time to pop off. But you do run enough removal to actually have a stand, you know, against aggro. It's not like you're totally lost against aggro. You can, you can win, without a doubt. That's fine. But if you want to play a tier 1 deck, you know, this is, isn't it. Right now, uh, Jenna and Nela run supreme. Uh, but what can you do? But hope Riot will nerf it eventually. But that's pretty much the end of the deck guide. I got some pretty spicy matches coming for you soon. I also got some really cool new decks on the horizon. You might got a little sneak peek on them uh, when I did the intro. But trust me, stay tuned for this deck, for these decks, guys. But, you know, that's all for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Volibear and Trindamir. But that's Shadow Isles. That's interesting. It's kind of like the silly bear deck I've built, probably. Ah, uh, so what do we keep against that? We want to go for the Undying, right? Only one Ceaseless Sentry is fine. We really want to see an Undying in our opening hand. Unfortunately, we didn't see one. Ooh. That's not that great. That's not that great. One Undying is all I need. Literally, just one. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I need my engine, and Undyg is an engine. You really gotta have it. Oh, Quietus. That's interesting. Nice! Okay, we got it. We got it. That's great news. Winter's Touch is fine. We really don't care about Tramp in this deck. So we should play Undying here. And end the turn, obviously. I don't see any reason why we... Shouldn't play this. Attack with these two. I don't think he has ramp. He would have played it. Yeah, it would be foolish not to do so. So we're gonna pass. Uh, actually, the fact that our hand is kind of full is really bad. That's round. Let's do this. It is slow opponent by just a bit, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna do this. And pass. We always wanna keep three spell mana up and countering his spells is actually useless. So I kinda wish we get Nasus here. Oh, we defend. That's 
Interesting. Okay. Well, sure. Let's play the ceaseless entry. Ah, uh, and uh, no, no reason to actually kill it. Do we pass here? No, we we first we do this, right? That's for sure. That's the play, one hundred percent every single time. And I guess we just pass. We pretty much have similar manas. Playing Volley Bear literally just feeds the Undying, which is super funny. I can't think of a single reason why, why would he want to play Volley here. Frostbite? Oh, he want to obliterate. Oh, okay, sure. That's uh, kind of funny. So I guess we do that, right? That's for sure the play. And then we crumble the Sheehu Wonders because he has no response. So we save the Undying. And unfortunately this one, all oh, right, right, yeah, it dies as well. Sure, so we do this. We got a Vengeance, but we did get two spells out of him. Oh, nice, another Vengeance, that's great. So I think no matter what he does here, we can Glimpse Beyond. Wait, we, we, we should first let it soak. Now we get to actually crumble, right? He has nothing he can do. So now we end the round, and that should be great. That's a Nasus, that's a thick Nasus. Wow, that's literally a stronger <laughs> stronger than Volibear, dude. For all here. Now, is Volibear leveled up? Not even close, dude. Let's Nasus. Oh my god, dude, that's huge Nasus. This Nasus is thick. Let's feed him some more. Oh, Raza is insane. Raza is absolutely mad bonkers. So, obviously, we attack first with the Nasus because he's gonna die to vengeance anyway. Really? Harsh wins. Sure. Interesting you would do that. So I can sacrifice... Oh, so we did have a vengeance. Okay, sure. Nice, and we got our... Uh... Also, we got a Rekindler and we got the Avenging Vestia. Yeah, by this point, there's no way he wins. There's literally not a single card that wins him the game. I have everything. I have Rite of Negation. I have the Rekindler. I have the Undying Ultra Fed. Uh, sure. Wasting three mana isn't worth it. Go for it. And now you actually fed my Raza, which is super funny. Pass? Okay. Uh, sure. Dude, I'm not gonna play a single thing. I'm not gonna play a single thing. I have literally no problem with attacking every single turn. And and just you ending the turn. Like, I have no... Absolutely... Okay, oh, sure. Uh, yeah. There's not even a reason to play anything. I'll just keep doing the same thing. Over and over. Uh, let's actually wait, play the Rekindler here, because we do have uh, the Rite of Negation. Return to us! And the Rite of Negation is pretty much free by this point. Because, uh, you know, burning one mana doesn't matter. So we kinda, you know, get resources out of him and we still get Nasty Attack going. Okay. Seems like he has nothing? Harsh wins. Okay. We got it out of him. That's good. Even vo a, a third volley bear won't do a single thing here. Interesting choice. What? 
Oh, dude, this is like anti-aggro deck or something. Well, I really... Well, I'm, I think the smart play would be to play the Raza, but I kind of want to play it extra safe. Oh, another Nessus. Wouldn't you know. Well, what do you have now? Another Harsh Winds? <laughs> so lame, dude. That actually is so lame. Uh, we can slay our own Undying, right? And that's... Ah, that's almost lethal. That's fine. Let's go for it still. Yeah. Oh, wait, what a misplay. I could have slayed my own Rekindler. Ah, never mind. Never stop turning. Okay, extended lethal, extended lethal. Never a misplay. Wow, that, that was an unfortunate misplay, but I haven't played this deck in quite some time, so forgive me about that. Well. Ooh, wild mysticism. Let's actually gain something out of it. Life and death intertwined. True. Da, na, 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 na. And we got the okay. Let's do let's do it for the memes, guys. Let's do it for the memes. We actually got it. We actually got it. What is this? Oh, he eats a Rex, I think. Bruh. Let's go. GG's! Oh, we got the Dune Swallower eventually. That's sick. We did get him. GG. It's victory. Bard and Kale. Interesting. <laughs> Wonder what he runs. Uh, okay, the Undying is perfect. Vengeance is also kind of great. Crumble is amazing. And Hate Spike is also kind of... Ooh. Uh, vengeance? I don't know. I think I have Crumble. That's enough. Should I mulligan the Hate Spike? Probably not. He might have some shenanigan tree. I do want... Ooh, two Undying. That's insane. I actually want Ruination here. Oh, three and dying, that's bad. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> the third and dying was uh, not expected. Vengeance is fine, though. We have gone long without justice, to keep hope alive. Okay, so triple and dying is really bad, but at least we got it. I breathe, I Interesting open attack, sure. We do have the fodder, which is actually great. I actually don't think I need to play this. Here, must be oh, sure. I actually think I can afford myself to actually just play two Undying. Uh, let's play this first. And obviously we're gonna attack, heal doesn't matter to me at all. So we should go for the elusive, I do not care about heals. This is a control matchup. Yep. I only care about blocking the elusives. We tend the fire and hope for her return. And we do this. Okay, so if I do get the Dune Watcher, that's gonna be insanely good. Hopefully play a Kale here. Oh my god, Renation is so insane. The Renation is sick. So you die. And I mean he can silence, but that would be really bad. That would be extraordinarily bad. Her light still burns. Uh, sure. Oh, we can do this, actually. That's way better. We're gonna sacrifice every, every single thing anyway. Attack with these two. Ah, uh, Maduli's fine. I don't think I should vengeance him. Yeah, if I vengeance, I can do that. I should end dying. <clears throat> so clearly he wants to open attack, so we're just gonna do this. And just to, because we want to disincentivize him from doing so. And now we got a Vengeance in case of open attack, but we also got Ruination, just in case he plays something big here. 
Yep. That's a ruination, my boy. Perfect. And we got ourselves some sick open attack. Nice. Oh my god, dude, no units. That's huge. He has one portal. Didn't top deck it, sure. And we got a crumble. No, that's... That's really, <laughs> that's really not that great. Okay, seems like he doesn't have a single creature. He, he would have played one by now. But now he's guaranteed a portal, I think. Oh, it's a random portal anywhere. Uh, Pill Cascade, dude. Sure. Okay. Yeah, go for it, Chief. Oh, he did get healed by one. Well, sure, that's an all attack still. Doesn't really matter. My dually, sure, we play this. And he desperate for Kardra. Uh huh. We cannot allow this to happen. That was a really good top deck, though. <laughs> and we'll do this. Hate Spike is kind of funny. Sure, let's uh, pass. Deliverance. Oh, really, dude? Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he didn't get silenced? Why did I still get the unit? Okay, sure. Yeah, GG, man. <laughs> Dude, he had no chance. Oh, we ate him alive. We didn't get a Dune Watcher, though. Diego and the Lucian. What a combination, my man. Oh, the Undying. That's always good to see. Oh, finally, dude, we have the combo of the Fodder and the actual Dune Swallowers. Finally, dude, finally. We got some good RNG. Uh-huh. Chime Slime? Sure. So, obviously, we're gonna play our Fodder. And we're gonna play the Undying. Also, we have two spell mana bank for hate spike, so that's actually really big. Ooh, nice. Dune Swallower. So I might just... Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, I should do this, right? It's no point not to. He's gonna defend with the Ephemeral anyway, so there's no reason doing so. Also, I can get Fury on my Spirit Leech. But I can also get Fury on the Tune Swallower. That's actually kind of huge. I guess drawing is way more important right now. Eradication. Okay. Uh, oh, interesting. He did attack. So I think the smart play is to actually do this. So we can... I mean, the Fury Charge doesn't really matter, but, but the fact we actually got 2 damage and we can trade after. So this is kind of fine. And now I assume we just literally kill these three. And that's three slay triggers for Nasus, which is insane because we can drop him next turn. And he has to do so much to actually deal with the spell shield. Which is huge, dude. It's huge. Oh, he passed. That's interesting. Okay. Or death to all who lives. 
So, I assuming that, uh... Well, one more thing that's gonna die to vengeance, but that's fine. Oh, he decided to do this? Now you have no defender. That's odd. Okay, sure. I mean, now I can pretty much... I'm pretty much safe to just open attack. And I mean, you do gotta have a vengeance here. No, he does not. That's insanely good for me. And he's on one. Okay, the invasive item of I do kinda suck. So let's play the Undying here. And pass. Hopefully, he overcommits. Then we can ruinate. My queen! Yeah, and that's the ruination. <laughs> GG, dude. What an overcommitter, dude. I can always appreciate this type of player, though. GG.